Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete beginner's tutorial on Durable. Durable is an AI website builder that you can use to create an entire website in just a few minutes. This tutorial is going to show you everything that you need to know about this tool, including how you can get started, how you can use the AI website builder, and even how we can go in and customize your website to take it to the next level. So to start out, the very first thing that you want to do is go right here to geforcenorth.com slash recommends slash durable. I will leave this link in the description and using that link when signing up to durable will give you the best deals and discounts. As you can see, we can get started for free with no credit card required. So all we have to do is click right here on generate your website. And it's now going to ask what type of business are we building? So in this example, I'm going to be creating a coffee shop. So I just go to the search bar and search for coffee shop right here. And once the type of business that we are building is in here, we can click on next. It's then going to ask where is the business located? So we can enter in where the business is. So I'm going to enter in London right here, London UK. And then we can also set the website language. So we can click on this. We can choose from any of these languages right here, but I'm going to leave this in English. We now have the business selected so we can click on next. And now we need to enter in the name of the business. So enter in your business name right here. I'm going to call this GeForce North. And then once all of that is done, we can click on this button to generate the website. So let's click on this and this website is now going to be generated. And as you can see, it now says the website is ready. So this is how the website is going to look. At the top here, we have our logo and the business name, as well as a button to order online. We then have this section, which is like the header. We have a background image. Right now it says save every sip. And although this is a pretty good website, like to be instantly generated in a few seconds, it's still not perfect. And there definitely are some changes that we need to make here. Before we do that though, you can even go and regenerate the entire website. So if I didn't like this at all, then what I can do is click on regenerate in this top corner. And then we can choose to regenerate certain sections. So if I like the website, but I don't really like the images, then I can specifically just regenerate the images. And like that, all of the images are going to change. If I want to regenerate the text, then we can click on text. Let's choose the writing style to be a little bit more friendly as a coffee shop. This is much better. So let's see how this comes in. Okay, so it kept the headline the same, but all of this is changed right here. And then finally, we can go up here. And if we want to change the entire website just like this, well, we can do that using the regenerate button. So that is regenerate. And what we can also do is click onto this customization tab. Now, as soon as we go to edit the section or we go to customize, we now need to sign up for an account. So the way to do this is you can either enter in an email that you create and then you can create a password. Or alternatively, you can sign up with your Google account. So I'm going to sign up with Google right here. And once we have signed up, it's going to say welcome to Durable. So we can go through and we can add some more business information. So right now, just from the information that I entered earlier, it comes up with this business description with AI. So we have that right there. And then what we can do is we can click enhance with AI and it's going to create something different. Once you are happy with this, click on next. And it's now going to ask us to confirm services. So we offer freshly grew coffee pastries and snacks, cozy workspaces. Uh, also, we offer free Wi-Fi. We can add that in right there. Let's say latte art as well. And if there's anything else that you want to add in here on these services, then you can add a service right here and enter in what you want to add. So for example, I could go in here and say that this is dog friendly. And then add this. And then as you can see, that service is now going to be added. So we can check this off. Then once your services are selected, we can click on next and upload a business photo. So I'm just going to go and select these and we can upload all of these photos that are relating to the coffee shop. All of the business photos that you have, we can upload right there. And once they have finished uploading, we just click right here on next. We can then choose what pages we want to add to the website. So about contact services. Let's also go for a team page right here and the rest we will leave off and then we can click on next. And this is now going to go through and take the website that we created earlier and add this extra information that we just added when creating our durable account. 
And just like that, this is how the website is now going to look. So we have the website that we created earlier. We now have all of the additional information added. So in here, we can now go through and we can make any changes that we want to, to this website. Now, the awesome thing about Durable is the fact that Durable is a drag and drop editor. So what this means is it's very, very easy to customize the website. For example, if you want to make any changes, all you have to do is click on the element or the thing that you would like to change, and then we can simply go in and edit it. So right here where it says save every sip, I want to change this. So I'm going to click in and then over on this main control panel on the right hand side, this is where I can make all of my changes. So instead of saying save every sip, I'm going to change this to say London's favorite coffee shop, just like that. And then we could also change the subtext, but I actually like this and I'm going to leave it as it is. When we click on this, you can also see we have these two buttons at the bottom, get started and contact us. And if I want to delete the contact us button, then all I have to do is click on this delete icon right here. And that's now going to be deleted. Let's also go into get started and make some changes to this. So we can either click on this pencil icon or click straight into the button. And in here, we can now make some changes. So the link type right now is set to external, which would take people off the website if they clicked on this. But I'm going to change this to page. And then the page is going to be services. So when people click on this link, they will now be taken to the services page of the website. Perfect. I'm just going to click on done to save these changes. And I just made these changes to the center. If we go down, we can do the exact same to all of these different sections where we can just click in. We can edit the text. We can edit everything that we need to. Images are just as easy to customize. For example, if I wanted to replace this image right here, I simply click on the image. And then over on this right hand side control panel, I can click into replace and then choose the image that I would like to replace this with. Now these are Shutterstock or stock images. So you can choose from one of these. Or alternatively, we can go over to upload. And this is where you can upload a file from your computer. But I'm just going to go back to Shutterstock right here. And let's add this image in. We can click on insert. And just like that, this image is now going to show up. We can go over to style right here and there's a few settings that we can play around with, such as making the corners more rounded if we want to add an animation to this. But I'm not going to go into extreme detail in how we can play around with the style. I would recommend that you just go in there and you play around with it yourself and see which styles work for which elements. But you now basically understand how we edit the majority of the content on your website. We can go down here, we click in. And then we just replace the image or the text with whatever else we want to add on this right hand side. If we go back to the top, you can see we also have this style icon on this top bar. So we can click into this and this is how we can change the overall style of the website, such as the colors, the fonts, the buttons and some of the other styles that come with this. Let's click into colors right here and we can choose the main palette for the website. We can either choose between a palette or we can customize this ourselves. So if we go for palette and choose one of these, you, you can see it's going to change the overall look of the website. I can flick between any of these and the website is going to change completely. Looking through, I actually quite like the look of this website. It looks pretty fancy and professional. Alternatively, we can go over to custom and in here, let me just switch back to this palette. We can choose the colors that we want to use. So if I go for here, we can choose the background and the accent. And then you can see that these colors are going to change and I can completely customize them to any color of my choice. Let's go back and I do prefer to do this with palettes. So I'm going to leave the color palette as this color. We can also go back to style and change the font of the website. So these are all of the fonts that we have to choose from. So we can go for any of these or alternatively, you can go up to custom font and you can really customize this yourself in terms of changing the size, the line height, the body text and all of that good stuff. Once again though, I just prefer to keep this simple and go for one of these pre-built fonts. This looks very fitting for a coffee shop. So I'm going to stick with this. We can also change the buttons right here. So we can choose if these buttons are solid, if they are outlined. So um, let me see if I can find an outlined button right here. It doesn't seem like we have any on the website, but either way we can go in. So these buttons are clearly style one. We could go in and change this to a button outline. We can choose the size of this button, the shape of this button, and all of that good stuff. I'm just going to go back here and set this to these type of buttons right there. 
And then if you have style 2 buttons, then you can change this. But this is pretty pointless as I can't see any style 2 buttons on the website. So we will leave this for now. And then under other styles, we can just change things like rounded corners. So if I find something with rounded corners like these right here, if we switch this to large, you can see those corners are going to get much more rounded. We can also choose the animations for how elements appear. So if we look at this, this is how the website would appear right now under slide up. But we can change it to any of these other options right here. And one that I really like is this zoom in. I think it looks very professional. And then the final thing that we can change is the browser icon. So if we look up here, this is going to be the browser icon for each of these different websites. And we can set our own right here. So I'm going to go to add icon. And then we can choose from any of these icons that are pre-created. For some reason, none of them seem to be loading. But that's okay, because I'm just going to go ahead and upload my own logo to this. So let's go down and I can upload this right here. And perfect, I now have my icon loaded in. So if I now go back out, we can't see it right now because this is still within Durable, but we will be able to when we go ahead and publish this. We can also go up and change this between the desktop, tablet and phone view. So this is how the website is going to look on phone right here. We can just check this all looks cool and that we like the look of this. And then we can also check this out on tablet. Now, if this website is something that you are happy with after we have done all of this customization, well, what we can do to actually put this online is go up to publish in this top right corner and click on publish right here. It then says save the changes to publish your website. So let's save these changes. And now it's going to ask us to upgrade our plan to actually put this website online. This link right here that it gives us is essentially just a preview address. So we can go through to view plans and you can see these are the three plans that we have. We have the option between yearly and monthly billing. So it is going to be slightly more expensive per month if you go with monthly. And you can save 20% right here if you go for the yearly billing. Now, what this looks like is $12 per month for the starter, $20 per month for the business, and $80 per month for the mogul. For most people, I would highly recommend just starting with the starter version right here, because you get a custom domain name, unlimited pages, you can send unlimited traffic, you can have unlimited contacts on an email list if you choose to create one, access to 10 million stock images, automated SEO. Uh, the only thing about this is you can only add one user. So if you do have multiple people on your team that might want to be using Durable, then it might be a better idea to upgrade to this business plan right here. Under business, we do get a CRM, so that can be very handy as well. You can also create invoices. You can accept credit card payments. So this is very handy for if you are building an e-commerce website, then I would definitely go with this plan. We also have a social post generator, a Google ads generator. We can have five users and we get live chat support. Now, Mogul, this is probably a bit overkill for most people, but essentially you can host five different websites on Durable. You get one-on-one -on -one onboarding. So I assume that's like a call with one of their team members to go through this and you can add unlimited users. So just choose one of these plans right here. We can go in, click on upgrade now. And then you can enter in your card information to go through, make this payment and actually put your durable website live. So that is my complete durable tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.